Hey guys, Soul Closet here. These are my hands. Hello. Um, and today I'm gonna be making a little, um, fairly informal review of my Ann Pro, the keyboard that everyone has. Um, yeah. If you've seen someone with a 60% keyboard recently, or in the last like year, they probably have this one. I mean, every everyone seems to just have an Ann Pro now, um, but I do too, and you may have seen my Stepmania video that I did with this a little while back, um, I'll put that in the I thing, which will be here, um, but either way, um, I wanted to just give a little summary of how I feel about the board. So mine is the white model, obviously, this is the original case. Um, with Gatoron Reds. Let me... There you go. You can see that. Um, and these are obviously not the stock keycaps. Um, the stock keycaps are not my favorite. Um, they're fairly thin double shot ABS um, with the shine through legends and all of that is stuff I don't like. Um, just about the only thing that I do like about the... Uh, stock keycaps is that they show you just how good the lighting is on this board, um, but the thing is I don't really care, so I put my own caps on it. Um, but either way, let's talk about the actual board itself, um, and then I'll talk about some of the lighting stuff. So for one thing, um, obviously it's a 60%, so you have to be kind of used to the 60% format. Um, I am. I never use anything bigger than a 10 keyless. Um, my previous board was the Leopold FC750R, which is a great 10 keyless board, but I was a little bit tired of MX Blues, and I had an opportunity to get this as a Christmas present, so, you know, I asked for it, and I got it, and I didn't have to pay for it, so it was kind of an easy deal. But um, this board is a lot of, I guess, firsts for me. It's my first Bluetooth board. Um, this is a wireless keyboard. I've never used a wireless keyboard, mechanical or otherwise, in my normal desk setup. I actually use it plugged in because I don't really care, but it is nice to have the Bluetooth if you want to use it with something else or take it somewhere or whatever. Um, so that's cool. It's also only my second board with lighting um, on, any way, on anything but WASD. Um, and it's RGB. So that's nice. You can see all sorts of colors. I'll show that off better with the light off in just a sec. Um, it's also my first board with linear switches. Um, I've never used any linears before. I still have never felt a Cherry MX Red, as far as I know. Um, except for during a job interview, actually. When I got my job, because I've only ever had one job and I still have it. When I got my job, during the interview, um, the guy was... Take, took me to a desk, and it wasn't his normal desk, it was his co-worker's desk, and the co-worker had a switch tester. And when the guy stepped away, I pressed all the keys, and I think one of them was an MX Red, um, but then he came back, and I didn't want to look suspicious, so I didn't do it again. Um, but, you know, that wasn't a good experience in terms of learning what they feel like. This, however, with the Gator on Reds, really, really is. I really love these things. I mean, they're just so smooth, and I know that Gator Run switches are smoother than Cherry switches in most cases anyway, so it's not a good comparison necessarily um, without using both, but I really, really like Gator Run Reds. I also really like their sound um, in general, but especially with the keycaps I've put on here. Uh, let me just try to type something. Okay, so yeah, I mean, this is a little rattly, but they're Cherry-style stabilizers, so what would you expect, I guess? Um, but all in all, it just sounds really, really nice. It's very crisp, it's very rich, it's very, insert nerdy term here, um, now that you can see my hands and a little bit more of my body, you can see that I get way too excited about these kinds of things, but that's okay. So, um, other than that, um, it's standard layout, or else I probably wouldn't have been able to put the caps back on it. You can see, standard layout. Um, it comes mapped to QWERTY stock for the, well, for all versions as far as I know. 
Um, but I use Dvorak, so I just hooked it up to my phone through the Obens app, which works just like they say it does for the most part. And um, I mapped it, and it works great. There's really no issues with it that I could see at all. So that was nice. Um, I mapped Dvorak on here. I had to do it manually, um, but that's, I think, because I didn't want to download the Windows app. I believe there's a Windows app where you can more easily manipulate the key map, but I didn't try it. Sorry my voice is so scratchy. Either way, um, let's look at the lighting. Let me turn off my light here. Okay, we're in the dark, kind of. Um, let me try typing again. So hey, that's a pretty cool mode. It's whatever keys you press light up. Uh, let me show you just how bright these things are. That's pretty bright. So this is with a cap on that is not shine through. And this is the raw switch. It's pretty insane. Um, which way does this key go? Whatever, I'll leave it off. Um, so let's go through some other modes. So, so this mode is the same, but it stays on after you type. You've got this one, which is the wave. Although it's not quite as fluid of a wave as you get with other um, RGB keyboards, like gaming keyboards and stuff. Um, I, I've used Corsair personally, um, and their wave is like radial. It goes out around from the key you press, whereas this is more like just a plus sign. Um, that's well illustrated when you press the corners. So, you know, it's okay, um, but it's not personally my favorite. This one is just a really, really nice color party. <laughs> um, I think it looks really, really good with with caps on that are not shine through. This one in particular. Um, so hey, that's nice. This one's just red, yellow, green, blue, darker blue, or purple, pink, peachy pink, kind of like a carnation pink crayon, uh, orange, I think that's supposed to be white, and oh, there we've got, what's that? The French flag? I think that's the French flag. You've got Mexican flag or something. You've got the trans flag, which is, I mean, I think that's what it's supposed to be, right? It's blue with a pink stripe down the middle. I mean, if these ones were white above and below the pink stripe, then it would really be a trans flag. But either way, like, or maybe, no, that's the other way around. If it was white in the middle and pink around that, then it'd be the trans flag. But th that's what I thought of when I saw this one. Maybe I'm biased. Either way. Um, then you've got the color fading. I think it's just random colors. Um, just fades in and out. Got this one, which is the classic RGB wave. Looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna actually get to turn the light back on so you can see this one. Thanks. But yeah, it looks really good, even with light on it, even with other caps. It's better in person, but trust me. Here. There you are. Turn the light back off. Okay. So... Then there's back to the one that I was using. So, yeah. Um, sorry, I was just changing the brightness a little bit there. But yeah, this is a really nice board. Um, I think maybe my only complaints with it are that it uses micro USB instead of mini for no reason at all. Um, mini USB is the kind of ubiquitous keyboard cable standard, so I don't know why they would go against that for no reason. Um, also, I gotta say, because it's Bluetooth, it's got the battery in it, and so if you wanted to swap out the case, you'd have to take off all the keys like normal, unscrew the case, take it out, then find a way to get to take out the battery, and then put a new case on. The problem is, is that if it it comes unplugged, any custom lighting you've done within the app gets wiped. It's temporary. Um, and then also, obviously, if you take out the battery to use a different case, you can't use Bluetooth. So you can't, because, because you can't use Bluetooth without it plugged into another source anyway. So it's a little weird. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's a nice board. Um, if I had paid the $80 for it, I would have gotten my money's worth. 
And, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go, but thanks for watching. If you liked it, um, don't forget to leave a like, I guess. If you didn't like it, you can tell me why. I read all the comments. And if you want to see more keyboard videos, I have a big playlist of them that this is going to go into. Um, and I'll probably make more in the future. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.